Only the chests remain. Right. Okay, gotcha. I thought the loot remains as well if you don't loot it. Uh, from corpses, I mean. But fine. Okay. We still have the Fallow Mire and the Western Approach artifacts for Memories of the Grey, so I think we should do that. But, first things first, let's have a look really quickly at uh, at the inventory, at what we got. And, uh, right, move to Valuables, Canar Slasher, move to Valuables, Torment Axe, uh, No, I'm still going to move these two valuables. Screw it. Okay, this one, on the other hand, Rebuke of the Sunderland. Is this better for our buddy, the Iron Bull? Yes, it is. I mean, from a DPS perspective, at least. I'm still going to keep this one. Warhammer, move to valuables. And the Basarath Kata, move to valuables. Okay. Then, the blades, uh, Carta Claw and Carta Fang, bye-bye, but... Coal. Coal has 198 and 208, and this one does... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Kingslayer it is. And Bleeder of Souls it is, I guess. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So, I think we can definitely... Hold on. AoE damage versus living, armor penetration, critical damage bonus, dexterity, guard damage bonus. That's good. And this one does 20 damage versus living, 13 critical bonus, and 1 Sunder on hit. 1%. 1% Sunder on hit. Yeah. So, we're definitely going to move this to valuables. Now, in terms of the bows... Wowza. Okay, this one can go to hell. Uh, this one, we're moving to valuables. Yeah. Okay. Enhanced Sunbow. Sarah. 128 DPS for you. This one gives you better dexterity. But... Eh. I could definitely take out the thick longbow grip, right, from it. Yeah, I could do that at least. And then back. Right. Uh, shit. Hold on. Shit. What is this? Superior battle. Uh, this is rare heavy armor. Heal bonus, melee defense, and ranged defense. Blackwall, I think, has a bit... No, he doesn't. Holy shit. This one is better. Damn it. Some things have upgrades. You can keep upgrades and thrash the weapons. Yep, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking. Man. Oh, requirement level 19. Sorry, didn't even see that. Right. Okay. Level 18. Am I too early in this area? <laughs> the hell? Shit, not Seer's Cowl. Okay. Seer's Cowl, this is cunning. Mm, Curse of Morak. Varric, Varric, where, where's Varric? Hmm. Okay. That's about it, I guess, for now. What else did I miss here? I missed a shield, this one. Shield, four, black wall. Right? I did say we're gonna give it to black wall. Constitution, plus 20 guard max, 6 million, okay. Berserk, plus 10 damage bonus, plus 100 damage from all sources. Wow. That's, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. 
Right. So, Emprise du Lion is an area that is f for a higher level than what I am, apparently. Right? Huh? I'm okay with that. I don't mind it. It seems to be working out quite fine, so... Uh, right, so we're, we're gonna sell all of these. There we go. Like that. And one other thing is accessories. Accessories here. So, explosive shot, I think, is something that I have as well, right? Poisoned weapons. Fire mine. Fire mine, I believe... Dorian has fire mine and he already has one equipped so we're going to move to valuables okay twin fangs Warhorn. twin fangs is a rogue thing so coal maybe he already has it if I give him two rings that do the same thing, it, are they gonna stack? We'll find out, I guess. Berserk not good. He'll take more damage. The shield in keep is much better. The shield in the keep is much better. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So you're saying I shouldn't... Uh, I shouldn't... Yeah, it kind of makes sense, though. Where the heck is it? Black wall. No, not this. Not not here. Armor. Not not armor. Weapons. This one. So it gives him a 10% damage bonus for a 100% damage against him. Which is kind of... Yeah, it's kind of a lot, isn't it? Dorian, I just need to hear his name and my heart gets warm. I love him. <laughs> a new follower. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, uh, Benny Tate1991, and welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll give him the destiny then, still. He'll take plus 100%, that's, yeah, exactly, I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying there. It would have been better if, like, he would have gotten, like, 50% damage bonus, and then 100% damage from all, all sources, but that's just too much. Yeah. Okay. So, hold on a second. Should be. Modify weapons, weapons, weapons. Um, um, Tempest. We might give this to someone. This one. Boom, empty it. And this one, I can't really empty it, right? Yeah, I can't because the runes are just like, yeah, confirm. Boom. Go here. Weapons like that. This one, move to valuables. And the staff here, the Tempest, which does cold damage, we can give that to Dorian. Am I right? No. Because he has Turda's staff. Okay, Solus. Solus. Yep. Here you go, Solus. You got yourself a new staff. You said my name right on the first try. Most pronounced it Murik in English. <laughs> All right. Okay. For now, Almost we should be good. Let's... You know what? Let's go to the... Uh, hold on. Uh, we have something in the in here? Did we have something in here? I don't remember. There's a plus 30 more damage, but 300%. Whoa! Jesus. Okay, that's a lot.
Inquisition procurers can leverage the organization's reputation to purchase a shipment of rare and valuable raw materials. No. The shortlist. Merchants eager to win favor from the Inquisition will give access to special offers for rare inventory. Yeah, boy. That's what we're getting, because we want access to those rare recipes. Right. And Prince du Lyon resources available. Yes. That's awesome. Because we can get the freaking metals in the area. Rumors of the Sullivan Blade. A pair of elves was found deceased in Emprise du Lyon. Victims of the region's unnatural weather evidence found at their camp suggest that they had discovered the resting place of the Sullivan Blade, a sword from Dalish legend. The blade was lost during the Second Age. And besides being a valuable historical artifact, it's, it is said to be a formidable weapon. The Inquisition's agents should be able to trace the elves' trail back to the blade's location. Recovering the sword could impress potential Dalish allies, particularly if we are willing to share information on it. We're not going to do that just yet, because I want to... What do I want to do? I wanted to check out something. Hold on a second. And I also have stuff in the awards chest. Yes, uh, Ultimate Exhunter, I know, I know. Uh, I wanted to check something out. Memories of the Grey Warden in here. So we could go and go ahead and do that. Yeah, we could go to the fellow ma to the west. Is that the western approach? Which one was it? The western approach. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So one over here, and the other one is over there. Oof, crap. Okay, gonna take a while. Also, did it sell? Was still in the buy section when you really was I? Shit. If you go there with a level 17, you can get good schematics in the dungeon. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> yep, it's sold. Right, cool. Okay. We have, a, we have a few dungeons, actually, that we can do, if I remember correctly, on the map. Um, I'm, a, I'm a level 16 at the moment. So, hold on a second. We, we, we actually had a few dungeons that we could do. Maybe we should go ahead and do them. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can find them again. Were they all in Orlay? I think they were all in Orlay, weren't they? Um, Memorial for Haven? What? Not yet. Hold on a second. Dorian's request. Gather coin. Skyhold is not the center of trade, though it could become. Uh, the Inquisition is largely driven by the belief of its supporters, some of whom are quite wealthy, but if it's to grow, I will need access to coin of its own. My family has earned coin as honest traders for generations. I would be happy to employ my skills in the Inquisition behalf. Let us begin. Okay. Hold on a second.
Investigate the Elven Ruins is one. What? Investigate the Exalted Plains. No. This one was completed. Red Jenny. The Serpent. Completed. Busy. Completed. Completed. In progress. Oh, investigate the elven glyphs. But this one's completed. Ah, and okay, gotcha now. What? No. Hold on. I don't understand. The Venatori are camped in a place known as the Hissing Wastes. They're working their slaves to death. First time they sung for me. Epic as a Dragon Age fan. All next plays. Okay, I got it. Please stop, especially as a canary. <laughs> yeah. I think this one is right. I'm going to bash the Venatori's heads in. And no. Stop the Venatori activity in the west. No, 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 no. Hold on. in the map you mean on the normal map scout no hold on a second let me see Travel to the oasis, the forbidden oasis. This is a new area, the forbidden oasis, right? Isn't it? Is it active? Hold on a second. Forbidden, forbidden oasis. Yeah, it's it's not. We we haven't done it yet. Okay. The hinterlands, the fellow mire, the exalted plains. Here. Dirthamen Temple? What? 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 So this is one. Okay. The Western Approach. The Lost Temple of Dirthamen. This one. This is the one. Yeah. Cillian reading the glyphs has revealed. Investigate the area. Yeah. Set is active. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Where is this? Where is this one? Um, what? Hold on, where is this one? Senior reading of the glyphs has revealed the location of the lost temple of Dirtam, and who knows what secrets this ancient elven ruin may hold. War table will say complete if you unlock the smaller zones are usually dungeon zones. Hold on a second then. Cause I just want to fast travel to it. That's all I. That's all I really want, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. Would you like to gather your party to venture to the lost temple of Dirthamen right now? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Um, black wall. Solus, why not? And let's take Vivienne. Yeah, why not? Let's take her. Confirm. Let's go. Whoa, shit. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. 
I wanted to see where we are. Someone's been here. Not for some time. The camp is abandoned. Explorers in the temple. This small book appears to be a collection of notes judging by their dates written over a period of three years. They, the, they chronicle the search for something called Dirthamen's Wisdom by an Orlesian archivist, Lord Greeton Foltz, whatever. The elven god of secrets disappeared along with all his kin, or so their legends claim. Yet his priesthood remained behind, and the priests were said to possess the ability to see and know all. I believe this to be the result of magic and not a divine gift. Magic locked in treasures that remain to this day. With the aid of my companions, I hope to prove it. I believe I have found the temple of Dirthamen, the resting place for the wisdom, or at least the location of the last high priest who was said to possess it. From all I have gathered, it might be possible to summon this high priest's spirit from the ether here in this place. Impossible, yet Dirthamen's rituals will even evidently allow it. Perhaps one of the oldest secrets we know of will be revealed to us here. It's a small marker by itself in the main term. Lots of arcane horrors. Well, we'll find out, I guess. And we need to level... What's his name? Solas. Solas, my friend. You have a point. And we are actually... Shit. The more magical energy you expend, the more damage your spells do. 5% for every 10% missing mana. Why can't I unlock this ability? Plus 3 magic to unlock. What? Forbidden Oasis will give you resistance to elements. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Storm... Oh, hold on, hold on. I can do this one. Arcing, arcing surge, arching surge, chain lightning arcs further and hits more targets, or chain lightning never strikes the same target more than once, but it deals more damage with each new target it reaches. Yeah, let's go with that one. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Okay. Well, this should be fun. Let me grab this thing, please. Thank you. Use damage inside cage or static cage. Chamber of Misery. Why did I drop the freaking thing? Take the head of misery. Pfft, hold on a second. I'm not taking anything just yet. I might take it now. Okay. It's as if the altar is waking up. Uh huh. creature connected to it is alive. It is but one piece of the whole.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of hidden treasure in here. Check every corner. Whoa. I think I saw something. Oh. Yep. The Lost Temple of Dirthamen. Uh, we few whisper here where shadow dwells. Some words remain unuttered. Truths are pushed down, down where they shall never arise again. It's strange that I can understand that. I the secrets know. of this temple have remained unspoken for too long. They wish to be known. That's great. What do we have here? I wonder. No way through this gate. Wonder what it's made of. Right. Okay then. Whoopsie daisy. Hold on a sec. Great. Did that open the freaking door? What? The lost temple of Dirtamen. Dirtamen is gone, he said. Our highest one brings... To us his gravest news what shall we do where shall we go what is the old what of the old secrets that burn within our hearts right. okay explorers in the temple a number of notes are scribbled in the scroll many crossed out or written in terse angry letters reveal the heart united with the flame together they will form the key to liberation advancement and translation, the translation is not clear. I also do not think this bra brazier is the flame it speaks of. Right. Okay. What the hell? Is there anything in here? No. It's just... Get ready, guys. I'm, I'm actually just gonna go back here for a second. No, that 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 mechanism wasn't the, the one. Okay, I thought it was the one. Some levers prevent the torch to get wet, so the veil fire will go out. Aha, uh -huh, okay. What do we have here? Okay. Elite sniper bow. It's cool. Explorers in the temple. They came for me in the night, but I won't let them take it. 
I'll find their Tamen's wisdom on my own. Those traitors want riches for themselves. They won't have a clue how to decipher the remainder of the ritual. Let it be known that I, Lord Gritienfo, uh, am not to blame for what befalls them. I am not to blame for any of this. Another one of the explorers? Apparently. Why is Solus just sitting be stand staying behind here? Right. And the torch goes out. Of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. Oh shit. Okay, so I need the torch. Got it. Chamber of Torment. Nice, nice, I like it. Our highest one, he deceived us. They honeyed words that drip from his tongue. We did not despair their ma despair their ma they mask. We know the despair they mass, sorry. We disciples of Dirthamen know the truth now as ever. Okay. Nice. Dirthamen's wisdom is the prize of the dungeon. Right. Where the f hell did the torch go? There's also a lever over there, so we'll see what that does. There we go. The Lost Temple of Dirtamen, the highest one, promises safety. I shall protect our ancient secrets. He claims uh, all that Dirthamen Dirth once granted us will be safe, but it is our blood he seeks, a sacrifice dark and unholy, a prison of evil to keep us in and all else out. Okay. So now, we must go to the here, the Chamber of Torment. I bet the poor fools never had a chance to use it. Somewhere back in the ritual area, perhaps. Get out of my way, Blackwall. Okay, and I don't know what that did, but I I I, I pressed it. Can I see the map over here? Jeez Louise. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is pretty big, I have to say. It's 
spiked tower shield. Okay. Explorers in the temple. I don't care what Lord Gretien claims. There were voices last night whispering to us in our sleep. It is not silly fears. It is this place. It is worth... Is it worth finding this artifact he hunts if it attracts spirits to us as we search? And how did the spirits know our names? They knew personal things, events I would rather forget. I would leave it... I would leave if it did not mean foregoing my entire pay after months of work. Okay, we were here, so we're going this way, right? Yeah, technically we are. <clears throat> this human man was a warrior dead for perhaps a few months. His skin is dried and stretched over his bones. From what you can tell of the corpse, he has stabbed. He was stabbed in the back. An expression of terror remains locked in the rictus of the dead man's face. An explorer. What killed him, I wonder? I guess we'll find out. I don't want to go downstairs just yet. I want to see if we can light up some other torches or something. I don't know. Okay, we're not going in there just yet. Hold on a second. So this is where the key leads. Oh, this is where the key leads? I mean, okay. That's the thing that opens the door, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, cool. Cool. Notched staff grip. That's good to have. What the heck is it? Oh, here we go. Boom! We will not have it. Will not have it. The secrets are madness in our years, but they are ours. The highest one cannot take them from us. Only Dirtham and our keeper, only he, and if he does not take the secrets, they are ours forever. Damn. Forever and ever. <laughs> Nope, there's nothing else in here. Damn, son, it's fucking crazy. Hold on a second. For his heart, for his heart, our highest one is bound. The secret that he keeps, he keeps with us. The vigil that he keeps, he keeps with us. His fear will not waken us. No one shall come, dear mentor. In our eternity, only darkness resigns, reigns. Sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, hold on a second here. Can 
Can you please revive me? Alright. They they hurt a lot when they rapid fire on you, yep. I thought I was safe because I went into uh, into stealth, but not really. Open this thing. Oh, by some kind of mechanism, like like, but not this mechanism. Okay, hold on a second. We need to find the mechanism that opens this door somewhere, somehow. Where the heck are we? <clears throat> we still have two more areas to investigate, so let's go. do I get here? Hmm. Night Enchanter's greater great sword. Okay. The the lever is glitched. Oh shit, and I have another one of these things here, so I need the veil fire. Okay. So like this. No, not like that, because I need the veil fire. Uh, where the heck is veil fire? No, I don't want to do that. I want to find the veil fire. I'm a little bit confused at the moment, so hold on a second. Uh, where the heck do I find Veilfire? The heart of this place. Here is where the ancient rituals and prayers took place. Right, we don't want to get there just yet. Hold on a second. Can I go here? Yes, I can. Magically sealed. Fuck. The hell? There we go. 
This is what I was looking for. Boom. They will come for us in the night, those who would steal the words from our lips and our God no longer rises to our defense. We claw at the walls, at the walls, now we pray for a dawn that will never arrive. Why can't I? I can't. Okay, never mind. Screw this. I'm just taking the veil fire from here but I okay there's something else I'm missing here isn't there okay. well there's this There must be another thing here, somewhere. I believe I sense one of the artifacts of my people. Good. That should help strengthen the veil. Yeah, but I still freaking need some veil fire again. So... We have some veil fire in here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can go the long way. Back. Was it this way? Yep, it was. The lost temple of Dirthamen, his mind which cannot think, his tongue which cannot speak, his hands which cannot touch, his ears which cannot hear, his eyes which cannot see, and thus shall our highest one be bound. He shall join us in our silence. Sounds nasty. Okay, so... I still have to find a way to... Oh, I need to get to this place over here. And I don't know... Okay, hold on. I don't know much. No more veil fire. Why am I going round and round in circles like that? 
Hold on a second. <laughs> now let's go through here. No, god damn it. Yeah, screw it, just leave it like that. I just need the thing, this thing. That's what I need. Sorry for the confusion here. How do I get... How do I get in, in here? Oh, <laughs> right. That's how I get in there. Okay, so hold on. What is this? Ooh, hard in High Town, Chapter Seven. Don and Brankovic searched Comte de Favre's office. The Comte lay dead, murdered while armed and barricaded inside his own home. The servants' room were all empty, and from the pulled-out drawers and abandoned trunks, they had been sent away in a hurry. The Comte had clearly expected trouble, and trouble had come to call. Um, the Comte kept all of his letters, decades of correspondence sorted by apparently kingdom of origin, filled his writing desk. Donan rummaged through them looking for darker ink, refresher pages, anything that might indicate that it was recent. And then came the shattering sound of someone kicking in the front door. Hey, my lord, fancy pants, get your ass down here. Jevlin and Donan ran for the foyer. A woman stood over the splintered door, her eyes glittering brighter than the daggers in her hands. You there, she snapped at the guardsman. Where's the comte de full of it? <laughs> um, we need to have some words. One of them will be coin and another one will be now. Kirkwall's guard, Donan barked back at her. This is a crime scene. Identify yourself. Guards, are you? She smirked, squinting up into the dark towards him. No suits of armor outside. Men poking around a noble's house in the dark. This does not look like a crime scene. Donan didn't flinch. Your name? Belladonna, Captain Belladonna of the Dragon's Jewels. She executed a florid bow that somehow managed to be insulting. Bow, sorry, a florid bow. Uh, where's the damned Comte? He's dead, Donan said, watching her reaction. You wouldn't know anything about it, that, would you? She cracked a wry, a wry smile. Trust me, sweet thing. If I were going to kill him, I'd have waited until he paid me first. What was your business with the Comte? Jevlin spoke up startling Donan. He'd almost forgotten his partner was there. Cargo transport. She glowered, glowered at the recruit. He hired me to deliver some antiques and I've been sitting at anchor for a fortnight without being paid. She peered up into the dark balconies over, overhanging the foyer and shouted, anybody here? You want this rubbish? Come to the docks tonight and pay me 50 sovereigns for it. Otherwise, I'm dumping it in the sea. With that, she turned on her heel and strode away. Okay, now that we had a good read before getting attacked by some horrors, let's get attacked by some horrors. Shit. You little... That's it, you're dead, buddy. Alright, there we go. Yeah, sounds like Isabella. Bella Donna. Yeah, and she's been docked for a fortnight. Yeah, it's definitely Isabella. Am I missing something here? I might be. No, I think... We're good. Investigate the area. 
Place the tongue of whispers. Place. Oh my god. Ple oh shit. Did I. Was. Is there like a. Hold on, let's see. There might be a right way of doing this. Explorers in the temple. A series of papers and notes are stuffed into a small booklet. It is stained with dried blood and covered in dust. The most legible entry is the last. We're still not certain why Lord Gretien ran off during the night. The others think it's the nightmares, though they say it's voices they that speak to them. Sorry. We took a vote and decided to continue the search for Dirthamen's wisdom. If we don't, we for forfeit everything we've worked towards. Trying to piece together... All of Gretien's notes won't be easy. All I can think is that we need to put the relics revealed by the Braziers into these flames. It's all part of some elven ritual. I suppose the only gruesome part is all these desiccated organs. Lord Gretien believed they were part of the high priest of this temple and that were somehow reassembling him. I find it unsettling that the elves would have disassembled their high priest in the first place. Oh shit. Do I need to I need to put them in a, in the right order, right? Place the heart, the eyes, the hands, the ears. Shit. Is there anything else around here that can help me, damn it? Hold on a second. Oh, this is another one of these things, which is not activated yet. Shit. Okay. Well, it's time to save and give it a shot. So, place the hands. I recommend caution. There is no telling where this ancient ritual will lead us. What the hell is that? Place the ears. Place the tongue. Place the head. Well, place the eyes, and I'll place the heart the last because the heart is what gives it life, doesn't? Isn't it? Yep. Okay. Summon the highest one. Okay. The highest one. Why did I do that? The highest one is a tough cookie to crack, if I do say so myself. There we go. He's dead. That was the high priest of the temple, imprisoned in silence and despair by his own followers. A sad legacy. Intense death root Vitar. Just place them, the order doesn't matter? Okay. I thought the order matters. Oh well. 
<laughs> um, so... This isn't active, so that means that technically now I should be able to get into this room where I will fight the real monster. <laughs> Supply cache. Whoa, okay, that's great. Supplies replenished. Hold on a second. Prayer stones. There's definitely gonna be some weird shit happening in here, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, let's loop this and get cursed. Or something, I don't know. The winter mace. Intense. Okay, advanced hat schematic. Re uh, tier 2 rogue hair. Okay. And Dirthaman's wisdom. A unique shield. For a level 8. Okay. I think, uh, you think I'm done? Fascinating. Okay. Damn. I was expecting some sort of a curse or something. And I was also expecting to be able to activate this thing over here. But I guess, look at that, I reached level 70, 17. I am now 17. So, that means that I can put a point into after striking a target with leaping shot yes let's go into I'm, I'm gonna go into shadows for a second we will see we'll see how that works okay so is that it I'm uh, I have completed this instance apparently which is great how do I get out <laughs> I did activate it. Ah, okay, so that was... I thought it was one of those... Uh, what's it called? The ones that um, secure the rifts. But anyways, I can't... Shit. How do I get out? I need to follow the... Follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the leader. I think this is the way. Isn't it? And then through here... And then, yep, boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Ping pong, yeah. Get some rash vine while we're here. And now we can get out. Into the freaking shit. Open. Okay, that was not... Where did they go? Why do they disappear like this? This is such bullshit. this area to be pointless as fuck says Oni. It's fun man, it's part of the game, jeez. Okay, let's get out of here. And that's it. We're we're done, basically. We can go back to Skyhold. Travel. Travel. Look at that. We're done just in time actually. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's have a look. Um, a new trial reward is available. Oh shit! I need to check that out. Name one play. Name one play underground that was fun in Dragon Age. All of them. Um, here first. 
And yep. let's have a look. Flower Boom. Motif, Superb amulet of aggression. I like that. And then war table really quickly just to see the progress of everything. And uh, yeah. After that, we will call it an evening. Because it's that time of the eve day. Yeah. Compared to DA2, I think Rusty appreciates all the different... Oh, yeah, I definitely. Like, pff, it's... Jesus. I, I, you can't, I can't even compare the, the Dragon Age 2 to this one. Honestly, like, what the hell? Uh, report ready. Ooh, Bloodstone and Andrastian Throne Accessory. Yes, yes. There we go. Actually, we're going to send you... Inquisitor. Into more. Let's get some more more of that bloodstone because it's awesome. And gather coin here. We got 175 and Inquisitor's Throne Accessory. Okay, cool. D2 was fun, way better than Origins. No, I, str I disagree with that. Um, I think Dragon Age 2 was the worst of the three of them, honestly, in my opinion. From an, in every aspect, actually. And uh, boom. And boom. And kaplam. Except for, in every aspe aspect, except for Varric. Varric was the only good thing about Dragon Age uh, 2. Yeah. In my opinion, again. Uh, not to talk, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to, I want to do this here. Boom. There we go. That's it? I thought we would turn in more research. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. Yeah, here we go. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on a partial improvement to Skyhold. I can't play the first one and the second one after playing Inquisition. Yeah, well, yeah. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Origins was boring and it was annoying to have every character hit on me. Pfft, dude, that was the most the, the most fun, man. What are you talking about, man? You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. Excuse me, what design choices? I didn't like what? You're too kind. You inspired it. No. Josephine picks everything. <laughs> okay. Josephine picks everything. You're too kind, I guess. Whatever. Thank you, Vivian. I'm glad you approve. When things have settled down a bit, I will take you to Val Royo and introduce you to my seamstress. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. Oh, really? I suppose you're right. I am a commoner. I should be one of them. I can't be materialistic. I suppose you're right. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Vivian. I suppose it's important to show that we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. That's a lot uh, to live up to, and style is enough. Let them judge me by my deeds. Well, eh, style is enough. And do you think I can accomplish this purely through fashion? It is a weapon in your arsenal. Don't overlook it, my dear. As the stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. 
She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. Mm. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. And you it have will be both. no small task to fill that vacant throne. <laughs> right, Vivienne. Um, I should be going to... I, I want to talk to... What's his name? Colin. Really quickly. Solus is staring at the wall there. Which is fine by me. Let me talk to Colin really quickly. Tink. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. What better way to demoralize the people of Thetis than to corrupt their heroes? If Corypheus appears with Templars and Wardens at his side, why shouldn't they follow too? Because now is not the time to lose hope. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. Mm hmm. Are you with anyone, Colin? No, I don't care. Um, tell me about Samson. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. What? Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. It sounds like Samson had a miserable life. The Order expelled him. But he had choices. He could have found another path. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. Right. <clears throat> okay, okay. Well, that's about it, I guess, with Colin. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to stop here for now, and we'll continue this. Um, Next time. Next time is going to be on Monday, most likely. Um, actually, I can by cheating and making my characters almost one shot normal enemies. Yeah, well, see, it depends on what you want from the game, Moni, I guess. For me, for example, uh, from these three, uh, from the, th the three games, the Dragon Age games, the second one, even though the story was good, okay, I still think the story in the first one was better. And the characters were better in the first one, except for Varric. Um, and the the lack the the visual the lack of any visual diversity, it really like for me it kind of yeah broke it. Let's say you know it didn't make it, it broke it. So from this perspective, Inquisition has everything. Uh, it has the visuals, it has the, the characters, it has the story. And the first game, even though it had very slow combat, um, I think I still, I, I mean, no, I, I don't think I'm sure, I still preferred the slow combat to the lack of diversity and, yeah, whatever DA2 was. Uh, just a rushed job, basically. So, yeah. I guess it's probably because I can't really avoid large groups of enemies. Uh, I have a fight when I see them, so it drags it out way too long for me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can totally understand. Yeah, the, the fighting in the first one was very slow and weird and, yeah, clunky. But the fighting in the second one, especially, like, if you... I mean, I think it was more... The, in the second one, the fighting was more, I don't know, bombastic, I should say. Maybe, I don't know if that's the right word to use. It was a little bit more flashy. You know, as a mage or whatever, you're like a tung, tung, tung. You're very, I don't know. It was it was a, a bit strange. It was a bit strange. Um, but anyway, Inquisition is amazing. Inquisition compared to the rest of the games is great. So yeah. Inquisitor. Right, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, hope you had fun. 
Hope to see you again on Monday. Hope uh, I wish you all a very good uh, weekend. I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow because we have the Dice Den uh, D&D stream. And um, yeah, I wish you all a very good evening.